What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. This is a little bit different. Uh, this is going to be a different kind of video. This is just going over the new third inning program and the update for today. The rewards, the new uh, headliners packs, and everything else that you'd want to know. So let's get into it. All right, so the first reward from the Headliners pack is this 93 overall shortstop Ernie Banks from the Chicago Cubs. He is from the 1959 season. And you can see the most interesting part about this card is his re reverse splits. He's a power hitting shortstop. He also plays third, has good fielding, 81 fielding, 82 arm strength. His hitting though is fantastic at 78 contact versus right, 96 power versus right, 116 contact versus left, and 87 power versus left. One of the things they said in the stream was the reverse splits. There's not many cards built like this that have more power versus righties uh, than lefties, but then also better contact versus lefties than righties. It should be an interesting card. I mean, if you pull it, it's gonna be a good shortstop for you if you don't already have uh, a strong shortstop, this card will definitely compete uh, for a starting job regardless of who your shortstop is right now. The next card they said is brand new to the game. It is this 94 overall Dylan Batantis card. It is his rookie card. Um, and this card looks ridiculous. A lot of people right now have the uh, live series Batantis in their bullpen. This is that card on steroids. You can see the hits and Ks per nine are at 115 apiece. Uh, 69 walks per nine. Nice. 82 home runs per nine, 105 clutch, 79 control, 99 velocity and break is amazing. And he has that slurve that's gonna be disgusting. It's actually better than Rich Gossage's, they said, or Goose Gossage, I guess. And it should be, it's going to be a disgusting card to have to hit. I mean, that is not a card you want to face late in the game. So let's get into the third inning program itself and talk about what is in it and all the stuff in it. So obviously, first, there is the moments that are in every single program. It's similar to the first and second inning program. The first one they release is a boss. Uh, a group of boss moments where you're playing against these cards and then you unlock a second half which is playing with the cards and it's gonna work the same as the first and second inning programs it'll just be geared towards Alomar Henderson and Verlander as you can see on the screen there is also this conquest map you can see there's 10 teams it spells out third it's gonna give you 30 stars again just like the first and second conquest map um, for the programs. Uh, you can see it's different teams than the past ones. It spells out third. Not a lot that's interesting here, just a conquest map. And if you do it, you get free XP. There's going to be rewards along the way. It's not a complete waste of time. There's hidden rewards and stuff like there is on every conquest map. They'll give you packs and stubs and XP. As and all is that. usual, again, you can exchange the second inning uh, bosses, I guess, which is Plaid. Miggy and Madison Bumgardner to get the 75 stars uh, to kind of boost your progress in the third inning program. Also, if you look there at the bottom left of the screen, you can see the fourth inning program art. It looks pretty cool. It seems like it's a skyline of some kind. I can't really see like, or tell what city that is as I'm not great at just seeing a skyline and being like, oh, look, it's Hooverville, Nashville, or whatever. Uh, but it, you can see on the bottom too, it looks like it's guitar strings maybe, so I don't know who the players for that is going to be, but it looks pretty cool. Uh, so I'm excited to see who those bosses are. At 100 stars, as is usual, you get to choose one of these five gold players. They're nothing super special. They're golds though, so if you are just starting the game, and you just do some of the moments in the conquest map, you're definitely going to get to these. Uh, the rewards are a left-handed Tony Watson from 2014, that is an all-star series. 
2017 breakout Michael Taylor, which that card looks the least impressive of all of these. Hunter Strickland, the 2015 rookie, is in the middle. You have Justin Smoke, an all-star from 2017, and the 2012 breakout, mark out, uh, breakout Marco Estrada, which was a card in last year's game and was in my rotation for a while. He's not bad. Uh, of these, I would say Justin Smoke seems interesting. Hunter Strickland is going to be a good bullpen arm. If you don't have a lefty, Tony Watson might be cool. So these look solid, but not amazing. At 200 stars in the third inning program, you get to choose one of these four diamond players, and we will look at them here uh, right now. The first of these 200 star rewards is this 85 overall Brandon Morrow. And this honestly is my favorite card art uh, from these four. Just the name on the bottom, it's blue. This is Brandon Morrow, relief pitcher. It, it honestly it just looks sick. Like this card looks amazing. And I honestly, I might choose this card just to have it so I can look at it consistently. Like it's just so cool. Uh, the, the, all the per nines are really good. Uh, 93 hits per nine, 84 Ks per nine, 81 walks per nine, 97 home runs per nine, which is great. It's a great number, really. Uh, I mean, this card does everything pretty well. It's a pretty solid all-around card. He has a 98 mile an hour fastball, which, as we know, this year velocity matters um, on the mound. He's got a cutter, he's got 87 breaks, so it's not just going to sit there, like it'll actually move and be an ineffective pitch. The slider looks really good too. Uh, overall, this reliever looks really solid. The second card you can choose is this 85 overall Zach Kozart, who is a shortstop from the Reds from 2017. He's an all-star series card. The fielding's good, it's 81. The arm is just not quite there for me. 65 is not great from the shortstop position, and he's not very fast at 44 speed. Ramon's big head is covering the stealing, but it's low. The hitting's pretty good, though. He's got 77 and 72 contact and power versus righties, 102 and 80 versus lefties. The vision's pretty good at 76. I mean, it just, he looks he looks like a solid card. If you pull Ernie Banks, definitely use Ernie Banks, but if you're in need of a shortstop, this might be the way to go, honestly. Zach Cozart's a solid hitting card. He does everything pretty well, except for bunt, and he's not very fast, but he's a, he's a solid little shortstop. The next one is this 2012 hardware David Price. He has a five pitch arsenal, a two seam cutter, four seam changeup, and knuckle curve. It's a pretty big difference in speed between his two seam, four seam, uh, his fastballs basically, and his knuckle curve ball. All of his per nines are pretty good. Not as good as the reliever Moro, but uh, it's, a, it's gonna be a solid reliever, or a, what am I saying? It's a, it's a solid starting pitcher card uh, if you don't have one. I don't think it's as good as Cliff Lee, the uh, 90 they just released, but it's a solid diamond starter if you're in need of one. The last one and possibly the most interesting one of the group is this right field 88 overall Reggie Jackson card from the Oakland A's. It's the 1973 Hardware Series card. Uh, the hitting is solid, but nothing's amazing about it. He doesn't have a stat over 90. It's just kind of good overall. It's 87 and 79 against righties, and then 71, 77 versus lefties. Reasonable vision. He's got amazing clutch, though. And I think that might be why the overall is so high. The fielding is not amazing. It's passable. It's better than a lot of cards. For example, the Ty Cobb that you get from Conquest that I will have a debut on in the near future. Uh, it's better than that card, but it's not amazing. The 78 arm strength is, again, it's good, but it's not amazing. 68 speed. Again, good but not amazing. This card, I don't really understand how it's rated so high. 
everything's just kind of solid. It feels like the outfield version of Zach Cozart, if we're being honest. But it's a good lefty bat. It's going to probably hit pretty well, I imagine. He has a good swing in the game, as I recall. But uh, yeah, it seems he's an interesting card. Okay, at 260 stars, I don't think they showed a better picture of this, but you get this tasty waves bat skin. It's uh, it's interesting. Clearly, it just it seems like it's just waves on a bat. So if you're into bat skins, it, it's something. At 280, obviously you get a ball and as a habit pack, which is the same as last one. And finally, we'll get into the third inning program rewards. The first reward is this Roberto Alomar card. There was a career arc in last year's game, and this seems like the juiced up version of that. We're talking 121 contact versus righties, 74 power versus righties. He's got 98 contact versus lefties, 79 contact or power versus lefties. The vision, the discipline, and the clutch are all amazing. 99 bunt and drag bunt is amazing. 93 fielding, 81 arm strength from a second baseman is great. 87 speed is very fast in this game. Uh, I mean, this card looks amazing. If you need a second baseman, this is the one. This is the guy you've been waiting for. This is pull the trigger. This is the card you absolutely need to have at second base. I mean, the vision is there. The contact is there, the speed, the fielding, it's just, it's the complete package in a card. The next one is the only player of the three that is still playing right now. It is 99 overall signature series Justin Verlander. He looks disgusting. 98 mile an hour fastball. He has an 80 mile an hour 12-6 curve. A 90 mile an hour slider, which is going to be hard to hit with that 99 break. He has an 84 mile an hour circle change and a 90 mile an hour cutter. The stamina is so high, it's going to be hard to wait him out and knock him from games. The home run, the uh, yeah, the home runs per nine is the weakest stat of the per nine, and it's at 84. The rest are high 80s or above at 88 walks per nine. 105 Ks per 9 and 95 uh, hits per 9. The clutch is really good. The control is high. The velocity is high. The break is high. The fielding is just a dumpster fire. But, I mean, the that's the only bad part of this card other than the fact that it can't hit. But this card looks great. I mean, this would be an ace deep into the game if not for the rest of the year for your team. Last but not least, it is the speedster left fielder, 99 overall, Ricky Henderson. The contact is high. The power is really high. The vision is 112, discipline 125, 97 clutch. I mean, this is going to be a god tier hitter for you. And then, oh yeah, 99 speed, 99 stealing, 99 base running aggressiveness. If this card is just, it's a speed demon, and it's going to be just a god-tier hitter for you. Uh, he has good fielding, too. It's 86 fielding, 83 arm strength, 81 arm accuracy, 96 reaction. This card might be the best card of the three. Uh, and outfield is a crowded position in this game. Obviously, there's only three outfield positions, so you need to pick the best three but this card could be the best card in your outfield from day whatever day it is in this game whatever day you obtain him to the end of the game i mean that, this card is this good uh, it's got power contact vision speed fielding it's it does it all it's actually a five tool player uh it it this card looks amazing and that's i mean if I were to pick one, it'd probably be this one over Alomar, even though I need a second baseman. Uh, and it, it looks great. It seems like it's going to be an elite card for the rest of the game cycle. Other than that, today they are doing a roster update, which hasn't released yet as I am releasing this video, so I won't be covering it in this video. I might in a video later today. We'll have to see. Uh, 
But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like rating on the video if you enjoyed it. And I will catch you guys in the next one.